Welcome to Module 4 of the Facebook Advertising System from Lead Pages. I'm Bob the Teacher, the Marketing Educator here, and it's essential that you take advantage of the relationship you have with your existing and growing audiences with Facebook's custom audience options. A lot of people become enamored with Facebook's incredible database of millions of people and go straight for targeting, but if you've got any list whatsoever or you want to quickly target people in the near future who do visit your website, you'll want to follow the steps I lay out for you in this module first. Facebook allows you to run ads for five different types of audiences, and each one is important for different reasons. The first three audiences are people who have an existing relationship with you on or off Facebook. First is your Facebook fans and their friends. If you've been building up a community, this is a great group to start with. You won't have to do anything else to prepare that audience for marketing. Second, Facebook lets you advertise directly to your database of customers or subscribers that you've gathered off Facebook. This group is frequently overlooked by new Facebook advertisers, but they are a great group to target because they come with a lower cost per click on average and, like your Facebook fans, are already familiar with you. Third, you can target people who have visited particular pages on your website. These retargeting audiences are essential to your success, but you've got to make sure you market to this audience appropriately. Don't worry, I'll teach you how later in this course. The final two audiences likely have no idea you exist. The fourth audience is key for scaling your advertising campaigns. Once you have a good custom audience in place, Facebook allows you to create a lookalike audience, which targets hundreds of thousands or millions of users that Facebook has determined look like your custom audience. And the fifth audience allows you to target users of Facebook based on a large number of factors, including location, gender, age, behaviors, interests, and more. This is an important group to target, but I encourage you to build this type of audience last because of how much more profitable the other four audiences tend to be. Now during this module, I'll walk you through creating the first three types of audiences. In the next module, we'll expand your reach with those lookalike and save target audiences. And when we go to create ads, you'll create campaigns that take into consideration who these audiences are and how well they know or do not know you. Now let's get started creating your audiences. In your ads manager, choose audiences from the left menu. Then click the green create audience button in the top right corner. We're going to start with advertising to your existing customers, subscribers, and connections. So click on custom audience. Click Customer List to upload a list of subscribers, buyers, or connections that you have gathered over the life of your business. To ensure you have a high quality list, I recommend you never purchase a leads list and use it for this purpose. Make sure whatever list that you use at least includes their email addresses, but you can also add people by their phone numbers or other information that matches on Facebook. To get your customer data, you'll need to download a file from online and offline databases you have access to. For example, your merchant account should be able to give you a report of buyers over a period of time. Your email service provider will likewise have a subscriber export for you in the form of a .csv file. If you have a membership site using a system like Digital Access Pass, A Member, Wishlist, etc., you can export your membership list as a CSV file as well. You can advertise directly to your connections on Google and Google Plus too, and even on LinkedIn. This is a hidden feature of these two social networks that few people take advantage of but may prove very beneficial to you. To get your Google and Google Plus contacts, go to myaccount.google.com and log in if you're not already. In Account Settings, look for the Account Tools area and then Download Data. Click Select None and then Check Contacts and Google Plus Circles. Click the little drop down arrow to change the data from a vCard to a CSV file for both types of data. At the bottom of the page, click Next. Choose the zip file format for your archive and click Create Archive. Download the file when it's ready and look for the All Contacts CSV file in your Contacts folder and the various CSV files of the circles you've created inside the Google Plus Circles folder. To get your LinkedIn connections list, log in to your LinkedIn account and click Connections in the primary menu. On the far right of the next page, click the small gear icon to get to your connection settings. Click Export LinkedIn Connections in the Advanced Settings area on the right side of the settings. Then choose Export to Microsoft Outlook CSV from the drop-down menu and save the file to your computer. Return to your Facebook custom audience creation screen and choose Upload File. You can also paste in contact information you've copied from somewhere else, or import an audience from the MailChimp email service provider. 
The next audience to create is your retargeting audience. Even if you've got very little traffic coming to your site now, setting up retargeting will save you a lot of money and make you a lot of money over time. And even if you aren't ready to start running paid ads on Facebook, create a retargeting audience today because it will allow Facebook to start collecting that data for you. From the audience screen, choose Create Audience and Custom Audience, and this time select Website Traffic. You can create a few different retargeting audiences, but the most important step right now is to create a general retargeting audience of everybody who visits your site. Make sure anyone who visits your website is selected in the drop-down menu and then enter the primary website address. Then name your audience for easy reporting. You will likely create several audiences, so make sure you name your audience specifically. If I have a personal training company, for example, I may set up my custom audience to be Buff Bob's Total Traffic, for example. Click the Update Audience button and you're ready for the next step. Before you go forward though, I recommend you repeat this process to create a custom audience pixel for your lead pages that you create where you publish to the leadpages.net server. Click OK and on your audiences page, select the audience you've just created, then select the Actions dropdown and View Pixel. After you've had your pixel on your website for a while, you'll see an action graph, but for now you can ignore the graph at the top and instead go to the bottom half of the page and copy the pixel code. This is a similar code to the conversion pixel we created in the earlier part of the course, but instead of placing this code on thank you pages, your custom audience pixel needs to go between the head tags of every web page that you own. This includes all your lead pages, your WordPress site pages, or any conventional HTML pages that you have. If you're working with a webmaster or a virtual assistant, send them this code to do this for you. But if you're doing this yourself, I'll show you two of the most important places to put the code now. Inside your lead pages account, make sure you place this code on all of your lead pages. Log into your lead pages dashboard at my.leadpages.net. In a later module, I'll walk you through creating your lead pages if you're new to the system. But if you already have pages in your account, follow these quick steps. Click the lead pages text link in the top menu to go to your existing landing pages. Click the blue edit button for each page you wish to add your custom audience pixel to. And for each page, go to lead page options, then tracking codes. Paste in your custom audience pixel here. On your thank you pages, you'll have both a Facebook conversion pixel and your custom audience pixel in the same head area. It doesn't matter which one goes first and repeat this process on all your pages whose visitors you wish to retarget. When in doubt, use the code on every page. For WordPress, you have three typical options for including your custom audience pixel throughout your site. If your theme includes an analytics option, you can paste your code in there. If you've uploaded an analytics plugin, you'll find a form to paste the code into there. If you have neither of these, you may need to include your pixel code in your site's header.php file. This is a little geeky, but if you're doing this yourself, here are the steps to follow. Log into your WordPress site's dashboard and choose Appearance, then Editor from the submenu. On the right side of the next page, click on the header.php file to open it up in the theme editor. There's a lot of code that you don't need to understand at this moment. Simply find the head tag and scroll down until you see the slash head closing tag. Paste in your custom audience pixel just above the slash head closing tag and make sure you don't paste the code inside of another code block. Click Update to save your changes. Now, every post and page on your WordPress site that shows the header will trigger visitors for future retargeting. Now at this point, let me share a couple of quick reminders with you. First, for effective retargeting, you should paste your custom audience pixel on every lead page you have now and on all future lead pages you create. Make sure you have an audience set up for both your own website and your subdomain for leadpages.net. Next, once you've added your custom audience pixel to your WordPress analytics or header.php file, you don't need to worry about adding it to future pages. It will be added for you automatically. Finally, realize that your custom audience pixel is used for all audiences you create within the same ad account. Now you're ready to create a couple of custom audiences based on visits to specific pages. You should create an audience of customers, people who have purchased your products, and interested non-buyers, people who have been close to buying but haven't purchased yet. Both of these audiences can be included or excluded in specific advertising campaigns you'll want to run. Let's start with your customers. Back on the audience page of your ad account, choose Create Custom Audience. Select People who have visited specific pages. On the next screen, 
added in the slug of your new customer's thank you pages. These are the pages they get to after they've checked out successfully. If you don't have this type of page yet, you'll want to create that as soon as possible. We'll talk about this in an upcoming module. For now, list the slug you expect to use like slash thank you. Choose the time frame that they visited your page. I recommend 180 days. Then name your audience for easy targeting later. Click update audience to save your customer targeting. From now on, anyone who buys your product and reaches that thank you page you've set will be added to this custom audience automatically. Now let's create a third custom audience based on high interest but no purchase yet. From the audience screen, click create audience, custom audience. Choose people visiting specific web pages, but not others from the traffic dropdown menu. Include pages on your site that show your visitors are interested, such as your sales page, services page, or about page. You can then add additional pages they need to visit to show that they are very interested. Then, and here's the important step, click add exclusions to ignore people who have actually purchased your product and reached your thank you page. This makes it so you can advertise your product to interested people, but not waste your ad budget on existing customers. For my example, if someone visits the My Pricing page and also visits the Special Offer page, but has not purchased yet, they will be added to my really interested traffic audience. Choose your time window for considering someone who's interested. I recommend 30 days. Then name your audience for easy targeting when you create your campaigns later. Click Create Audience to finalize this custom audience. Review your custom audiences and repeat this process anytime in the future to fine tune who you want to reach with your advertising. At this point, you could skip directly towards making your high converting landing pages and creating ads. However, this is only half the story when it comes to audiences. We'll tackle that next. But before you go on to the next module, make sure you've downloaded the materials I've created for you to ensure your Facebook advertising success. Simply click on the button below to download all the videos, audios, handouts, and the Facebook advertising system mind map. Just enter in your email address and let me know where we can send those files to your inbox. When you're ready, go ahead and jump into the next module and I'll lead you further down the path of growing your business with Facebook advertising and lead pages.